My name is Ron Drescher. I'm an attorney practicing in bankruptcy and commercial litigation in Maryland, Virginia, Delaware, and Pennsylvania. And this weekend, I'm at the NACPA convention in San Antonio. That's the National Association of Consumer Bankruptcy Attorneys. Another thing that I found very interesting is I learned a little bit about how 401k payments are dealt with in Chapter 13. Many, many debtors who find themselves in cash flow problems borrow from their 401k. And then there are very rigid repayment obligations to these 401k loans. In fact, the bankruptcy code specifically says that 401k loan repayments are permitted and are to be deducted from your gross income to figure out what your net disposable income figure is going to be when you repay your creditors. At the end of your loan repayment period, you're done. You're done paying back this loan. And really what you've been doing is you've been repaying money that you borrowed from yourself. So theoretically, you're preferring yourself over your creditors when you repay your 401k loans. And even though that's something that is generally frowned upon in the Chapter 13 world, it's specifically authorized in the bankruptcy code. Now, what happens when you're done with your 401k loan repayment and it's during that five-year Chapter 13 repayment period? Well, the Sixth Circuit Court of Appeals has recently said once you're done with your 401k loan repayment, you can't resume 401k loan deductions from your paycheck. Why? Because you're paying yourself before you're repaying your creditors. And that's generally a no-no under Chapter 13. So in some courts have been saying, well, we're going to look at what you were deducting before you filed for bankruptcy. And we're gonna let you resume those deductions from your payroll. The Sixth Circuit would have none of that. The Sixth Circuit says, until you're done with your five-year repayment period, if you're not paying your creditors 100 cents on a dollar, you're going to have to pay all of your net disposable income for the benefit of your creditors. And that would include any money that you would otherwise want to set aside into your 401k plan. My name is Ron Drescher. I practice in bankruptcy and commercial litigation. And if you have a question about any of this, I'd love to hear from you. And thank you for tuning in and watching this video.